Okay, everybody. This is my CT Fletcher workout. For any of you that don't know CT Fletcher, I don't believe you because you probably do. One thing that CT Fletcher is known for is his arms. And I'm going to try out uh, a couple of the things he does to, well, a couple of things he's shown us that he does for his arms. So this is just a warm up here. I'm warming up my triceps with slow weight in my hoodie. Make sure my elbows are all warmed up and I don't have any tricep damage because this is a very intense workout and a lot of volume goes into this. So the one thing you want to do is make sure that you're warm. So the pyramid set. This is just pure volume. Uh, I worked up to 18 at the top of my pyramid. That is very heavy for me on uh, tricep skull crushers. So I think I only knocked out about two reps of those. So I made sure that the eight kilogram and the 12 kilogram dumbbells before that, I did a lot more reps. I, I think around 15 to 20, especially on the eight kilos. Uh, and then I came back down and did similar repage for that. Uh, the one thing I have to say about this workout is the pump is actually unreal. I don't think I've ever had a pump quite like it. Uh, it's just, there's something about the dumbbells and triceps that people don't, they stay away from. They tend to do cables, and I always used to do cables. But now trying this CT Fletcher style of workout, I think it's better. I think it's a lot better, so I'm sure going to do it a lot more. That's the one thing I'm, I'm definitely going to do are these kickbacks. When you're near the end and you're just trying to grind them out, the one thing you do want to do is bounce because you want to push yourself to absolute failure. Uh, the one thing that C.T. Fletcher says is you need to go as hard as possible so you can't leave anything left in the tank. And these bounce reps where you come back, hit the ground, uh, really, they just give you that extra boost to do you know, three or four more reps that you wouldn't normally be able to do. I just did a bit of posing here, just because the pump was unreal, I told you this. One of the biggest pumps I've ever had, especially my triceps. I've really struggled to, I don't know if I've got an issue with my elbow, but locking, the lockout of the triceps has always been an issue for me. I've never really been able to fully extend my arm and squeeze my tricep properly. Um, so I think posing... And doing stuff like this actually helps me me uh, overcome that. It's, it's hard to explain really, but it's getting there. Doing this kind of stuff helps. So this isn't actually something that C.T. Fletcher says, but I'm warming up my biceps here. I've just got a relatively low weight. And I just go, I just keep pumping for about two to three minutes. And I did two sets of that. I believe I'm quite strong on biceps in particular. I mean, I don't mean to blow my own horn or anything, but uh, yeah, that's one of the things I'm strongest on, as you'll see in these preacher curls that are coming up. So I'm just going to let these bicep clips play through because I really want to give you an idea of how I warm up properly. Uh, there's a couple of variations, so I, I'll do alternating and then I'll do three on one side, three on the other, just for a bit more constant tension. And... One thing you want to do is try and tense your tricep at the bottom. I don't know if you can see a slight, some of the reps I do it a bit better than others. But yeah, that's just to fully stretch it out. Uh, yeah, so I did two sets of that. Really good for getting that blood in the muscle. I wouldn't recommend uh, jumping straight into heavy weights because CT does go very heavy on his workouts. As But then again, you have to remember that he is a lot older than most and he's been training for a lot longer than most and he's also one of the strongest or was one of the strongest men on the planet so keeping up with his numbers is not easy and I know I wasn't even half I wasn't even lifting half of what he lifted in his videos so you know I feel like it's still pretty heavy for the average lifter and what I was doing here so this is 22 kg dumbbell preacher curls yeah the one thing I do here that CT probably wouldn't like is you can see I kind of come back a little bit when I'm 
I'm bringing it up. That puts a lot of strain on the bicep uh, near the shoulder attachment. So try and keep your shoulder forward as much as possible. Don't lean back like I did because that is not a good way to do it. After doing the heavy preacher curls, I did some lighter preacher curls because I wanted to get more volume in again. So I just did that. And uh, what I like to do is pause it at the bottom of some reps and uh, hold it at the top just so I, I get a full squeeze and full contraction. Yeah, and full stretch. So full everything. That's what you want. I've never seen CT Fletcher do dips in his workout, so this is something that I added a little bit extra. The reason behind this being... You do the the skull crushers and they they hit the long head of the tricep a lot, which gives it that long look that you want. But these dips focus on the the upper thickness of the tricep. So I thought it would be a good exercise to add as an addition to the workout. So you're hitting both the long and the short head of the tricep. That was the CT Fletcher arm workout. And I thank you very much for watching. Okay, so just before my camera dies, I want a word with you. I want to say thank you for anyone that is watching. So I am working hard, I'm doing what I love, and I thought this would be the best way to just portray a nice message, portray some advice, you know, show you who I am and what I have to offer. And I do believe that if you follow my advice, just follow it, take some, take some tips, use it, and really work hard at it, you can easily get anything that I have and more. Because I tell you what, nobody's perfect, I'm not perfect. If you just Get your diet up, get your training, do the good form, anything can happen. I was skinny, weighed under about 60 kilos when I was 15, boosted that right up, changed my body image, changed everything. It's doable, you can do this.